Okay, you're standing in front of your easel with your canvas up there or you've got your paper there and you are going to paint today. And you know what you're gonna paint, but what is the best way to start the painting? I mean, is there a best way? Is there a correct way to start a painting? What is it? Well, that's what we're gonna to discover today, so stay tuned. Hi, this is Gwen Fox, and I'm so glad you're here. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I we're, Today, we're going to, to discover what's the best way to paint a painting. You know what you're going to paint. But how to start a painting? How to start it? I mean, once you get going, you're fine. But how do you start it? So there are many, many, many ways. Now, and we're going to go over some of them. You can be carefree and just start in on, let's just, put, let's just put the paint on it and see what happens. You can do a thumbnail sketch, and that's way you know what you're going to paint. You've got this blank canvas here. You've got a blank canvas, so what do we do? And there are many, many ways that you can break this blank canvas syndrome, and I'm gonna show you a couple of those. One of them is to take regular colored pencils and you're going to just, you're gonna paint or do whatever it is you want. You can do colors, you can do all kinds of things and you can cover the entire package if you want to. It doesn't matter, it's up to you. Then you can, maybe you wanna take pastel pencils Maybe you want to take those and there you got that. What about if I want to add a little blue here? Now, another way that I think is extremely helpful is that, let's say that you are frustrated or you're angry or you're you're just not sure and you're just angst I mean you just don't feel right so what are you going to do when you you when you paint it's going to come out so let's get that out first so why not write whatever it is you want to write on this canvas because you're going to cover it up anyway and so And you can write all over it. You can write. You know, you're frustrated. I'm, 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 I'm happy. I'm whatever it is that you want to write. You just write it. Now you've got a mess. But we're going to make a bigger mess. Because now... We're going to get the, uh, these wonderful Stabilo crayon paints, or not paints, but these, I call them crayons, just because they remind me of crayons. But you're having fun. What does this do? This loosens you up. Oh my gosh. You know, the worst thing to do is to start a canvas and have yourself be all uptight because then the painting is tight. And then you say, oh, I want to loosen up, but you can't do that. The other thing you can do is, of course, take a, this is a charcoal type pencil and you can do all kinds of marks with this. And, you know, another thing is that you're going to find out what your marks are. You're going to look at this and you're going to realize that you go certain ways. Somebody else may not do anything like I've done. But now let's say this is the cream of the cream. This is the charcoal. Now I use the square charcoal just because I like, I like the, using that square to give me some calligraphic type lines. 
So here we go. When I say calligraphic lines, you know, like the willow is like this. And this I can do. I can have many different kinds of lines. And it makes it so much better. Uh, now, I've got charcoal on here. I have a choice. I have a choice now of what I can do. I can, it's also very dirty, I can spray this so that it won't run, or I can start the painting, let it run, and tone the, don't tone the canvas. It's totally up to you. So now let's get down to the nitty gritty here. We've gone through painting with a, uh, just with abandon, which this is breaking up the canvas. We can just put paint on and we don't care where it's going to go. We don't care about the colors. We don't care about anything. We're putting paint on. Then we're gonna pull the image out. The other method is a thumbnail sketch. And thumbnail sketches look similar to, to this. Uh, they are thumbnail sketches. They are already drawn. You know, where your, you know where your center of interest is going to be. I have a book of them because this is what I have done. I have a book of these. And uh, just to give you an example of some of this, that's the thumbnail sketch. And I do a lot of them. But a, a lot of times I don't want to just do thumbnail sketches, I want to do with abandon. So what am I saying to you? I'm saying that it's whatever you are in the mood for. What do you want to do? How do you want to start it? I don't know about you, but I get bored. I get very bored doing something the same way all the time. So try a different way. And then see how you like it. You may like it this time, but not the next time. Or you could start, let's say you're an oil painter, you could start with acrylic paint. Always use transparent colors underneath, always. It's better that way. So put in like three different acrylic uh, transparent colors and then let that dry. And then you can paint over it either with acrylic or oils. The other thing that I spoke of earlier is adding transparent acrylic to the painting. Now I gotta tell you, I did this and it didn't record. So this is already done. But the three colors are the quinacridone gold, quinacridone magenta, and phthalo turquoise. That's in fluid acrylics. It really causes a beautiful, beautiful look. Now why do I do this? Well, I do it for two reasons. Number one, if there's, if there's a, a kind of a hesitation to bother or to ruin a brand new pristine canvas, then I want to mess it up. Or I can put this on and look what I have underneath. I have this gorgeous color, these colors that are going to shine through the painting when I finish it. Now, I may decide to do a, let's just go for broken, just go and see what we can pull out. Or I may decide to do a thumbnail sketch on top of this, which is perfect, I love it. And so it's, I'm sorry it did, you didn't get to see it happen, but it didn't record and I don't know why. But that happens, it's life. But give it a try, let me know, leave it in the comments below. Which way do you really like to start your paintings? Because is there a right way and a wrong way? Absolutely not. It's your way. You're unique. You do it the way you want to because you're the artist. So have a great time painting. Let me know how you do. And uh, bye and I love you.